Let's find the size of this 3D vector. 4i plus 3j plus 3k. Yo, I already learned this in school. Isn't it just the square root of the number in front of the i squared plus the number in front of the j squared plus the number in front of the k squared? Yeah. But do you even know why? Uh, not really. Why even go to school then? It's not a big deal, Drake, chill. So remember finding a vector's size just means finding its length, right? Right. And our vector r goes four steps in the x direction, three steps in the y, and three steps up in the z direction. Cindy, wait, I want y'all to notice that there's like two right angle triangles here. One standing up and one on the floor. Right, and to find the length of r, we can start by finding the length of this side that's in both of them. Any idea how? So if you look at the triangle on the floor, is that side the hypotenuse? Correct. So we can go ahead and use Pythagoras. Pythagoras. So this side's length squared plus this side's length squared equals this side squared. So square root that and we get the length. Now we can use this side and do Pythagoras again to get the length of the vector. Oh, that's clever. So now would it be this side squared? Yep, and that undoes the square root. Yep, plus this side squared equals the vector's length squared. That's right. So if we square root it, we get the vector's length. And that, guys and gals, is why this expression gives you the length of a 3D vector. Perfect.